Hi. So this is a, um, a follow-up video to the Royal Grammar School that I visited on Tuesday and I just wanted to say thank you for your hospitality. I really enjoyed my time there, travelling up from Sheffield. It was great uh, when I got there, meeting everybody. By the way, I love the Cornish pasties. They were so delicious. But anyway, back to the presentation. Uh, for me, it's always a pleasure to share my journey, to share my story and share my messages. So thank you for, for listening, and you did so very well. Not only the year fours, but also the lower six as well. So I appreciate that very much. Um, and thank you specifically to the year fours for listening um, attentively, answering the questions when I asked them, so I had audience participation, and telling me, some of you told me what your, your, your dreams were or your New Year's resolutions that you set, which is always really good so I can find out what's going on inside your head. And then specifically for the year fours, thank you very much for the, the questions that you asked at the end. Now, I do apologise because I couldn't answer all of the questions, there were so many and we ran out of time, but I really did enjoy that. That's, for me, it's one of the best parts. My story is my story and I, I tell it many times, but when you ask the questions, that's when I can get very specific and I can get very personal and I really enjoy uh, answering and, and especially uh, kids of your age, your students, you, you, um, you don't hold back, <laughs> you ask some amazing questions and it's always a delight to, to rack my brains and think about answering them the best way possible. So thank you for that. Um, and that's it really, I just wanted to do this, this follow-up video. I wanted you to, um, to hear me and, and hear me say thank you, but also I wanted to remind you just to keep setting your goals. Okay, you've already done some work on it, I want you to, to continue setting your, your New Year's resolutions, or your visions or your goals and they can be in your student life or they can be in your personal life and they can be for this year, next year or even the future. It doesn't really matter but make sure that you choose something that's very passionate for you, something that you really want. It doesn't have to be what your teacher wants or your parents want or your friends want but what you want because that will give you the drive, that will make your heart beat, that will make you smile and that's what goals should do, they should make you smile and that will drive you on, that will motivate you. Now, as you go on your journey, working towards your goals, there will be times, I'm sure, when you, you'll be struggling to achieve them. Whatever you do, don't change the goal. Change the plan, by all means. And sometimes you have to ask for help from your parents, from your friends, from your teachers. Ask for help. Maybe you need the plan changing, but don't give in. Never give in. There will be barriers in front of you, You've got to learn to see those as excuses and don't lean on your excuses, but instead turn those excuses into challenges. Most of all, and very importantly, always be the best that you can be. And if you do that, then you've got no regrets. So I'm going to carry on training, otherwise I'm using uh, this video as an excuse to stop training and talk to you guys. And I won't do that. I will carry on. Um, no regrets. So good luck guys, really nice uh, meeting all of you and if you've got any questions, if there's any questions that I didn't ask, answer and if you've got any questions please pass them on to your, your teachers and maybe I can answer them some other time. But until then, I'll see you later, I've got to get training. Okay, take care, bye.